Right, welcome back to part two at the Cardona Resort up in Peebles, Scotland. I say part two because hopefully you watch my front nine end. It was three over par and I got a little bit of a run going towards the end. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. We're on the 10th, it's a par four. It's straight down. Can I get off to a good start on this back nine? That's the biggest drive of it today. That's downwind. That has gone a long way. Well, it looked like it was coming off the right hand side or left hand side from where you are on the way past we'll go right edge and firm yeah for a minute there i thought it was going to stay there okay we started with a par but in all honesty with that drive i should have been looking at a birdie putt anyway on to 11. Okie doke. Ah, I had a bigger break. Right, a bogey on the back nine, par five, and a fairly short one. It's an opportunity to get that first birdie of the day on the card. Come on. That's a decent start at least. Well, what I couldn't see from back there was yellow stakes, which as you know means water and there's a brook that runs in between where I've just played from and that flag and I've been really lucky to avoid not going in. So yeah, I took five wood. Not again. It would have been a layup. That's not the chip shot. Come on, Ann. Let's get this up and down. Oh, come on, be good. That's a real nice clip. Right. I've got to birdie this one, surely. Do you know what? It looks like just a straightforward four footer. Am I reading a bit too much into these? It's definitely got to be off that right hand side, surely. Yeah. It's almost falling backwards on me. Be positive. At last. Oh, that's a long time coming. From half decent play this morning, some decent ball striking, and that was a decent par five, which gives me the first birdie of the day. And more importantly, back to level par for the back nine. Right, throughout this video you'll see me taking a little bit more time than I normally do in terms of my setup, in terms of adopting some techniques that I've been learning of late on our Testing the Tip series. And uh, if you've not caught up with that yet, then go on up over and give it a subscribe because basically golfers just like you and I are loving it right now. And uh, it's me as an average golfer testing out the tips of all the YouTubers out there, digging out all the good stuff and feeding it back to you. And I've got to admit, it's helping me right now. So make sure you go and check that one out as well.
啊，笑死！哦 ，That's a great up and down. Good courses have strategically placed bunkers, and it's fair to say that uh, well, Cardona has done me today, certainly on this hole at least, anyway, because that tee shot I hit was solid, as good as I've got, and that seven iron I hit out was right on the flag as well. And I think by the looks of things, it hit the back bank and rolled back in. I've made a decent shot, and we've still got a chance of par, but these bunkers are certainly well placed. Right, let's have a quick look, see if we can. Uh, Keep this card going, which is decent back nine. Right. Not a lot in it, maybe right edge. Yes, for a minute there I thought it had gone out. I can officially say that has gone in. And uh, we make a remarkable up and down. That was a, you know what, that was four good shots in the end, even though two of them went in bunkers. And we're managing to keep this roll going. The greens have been really pure and true, which has been uh, nice to see. Um, puts like that, you pick your line and uh, set it off in it. And like I said, been really honest and uh, there's no excuses when that happens. Our 16th hole looks an absolute beauty. Tree lined, but from what I can see, for the majority of the uh, tee to green. And uh, I think when we were walking down 10, we got a glimpse of the green as well. So this looks a really nice hole green just hidden over the horizon let's see if we get this first bit done and uh, a ball into the fairway and into that stunning backdrop that is down the center stripe we can't do any better than that Another one that would rank highly in my, some of my top three holes to play, but trust me, you've got to get that drive spot on because if you leak anything out to the left, you're blocked out with any kind of view to this green. As it stands, I've got 150 to that flag at the back. I'm in position A. Um, probably drove the ball really well, not felt as good with irons as yet. My God, that's a terrible shot and it could be great. Sit down, ball, sit down. Oh my word. Well, it's not great, but it's far better than the shot deserved. Very much off the bottom grooves. I said I wasn't as comfortable with the iron. I'm not sure what is quite going on there, but um, I'm on the green and reg. We'll take it, eh? That's a good shot, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, my short game has been absolutely on fire. I don't know between the two, uh, part one and part two, I don't know how many times I've been up and down, but it's been a few. Right, back to where we started. 
hotel in the backdrop ready to go for a uh, few drinks when we finished and uh, I could do with just finishing off with a good hole to be honest with you it's been a decent knock so far on this back nine and overall would put together a decent card this one looks fairly tight I may just resort back to the sort of uh, the fade that I like to hit just off that bunker and see if we can just get one in the fairway Well, I haven't faded off the bunker, that's the problem. Don't get me another bunker. Don't get me another bunker. It's bouncing. I know that it's bouncing and pulled up short. It was such a tentative strike and a real, uh, well, just a bailout. But we shall see. But I look very close to yet another bunker. I don't want to be right at a pin. There's nothing to work with on that side. And we know what happened last time I said that. I went the exact direction I didn't want to. Right, come on. Cut it into that flag. <sighs> Do you know what? It's almost really good again. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. And stay there. Yeah, it's uh, held on the left-hand side of the green. I was a little bit cautious again, just didn't want to lose that ball to the right of the flag because it looks in no man's land over there. And I think, well, we're on the fringe and possibly pin eye. We'll need a good two putt. That's got to roll out. That's got to roll out. Oh, and you've left yourself a slippery one for a par on the last. Ah, I think it was a good line as well, which uh, made things worse. Never mind, right. It's over to Mez and see if it can do its thing. I don't think there's a great deal of movement in it. Oh, do you know what? I pulled it as well, which made matters worse. What a terrible way to finish, and do you know what? It really came, the bogey was uh, from bailing out from the tee shot and then pretty much bailed out on the second shot as well, if I'm honest with you, didn't want to miss that. And I was right because there's a lot of trouble, there's water actually down there which I didn't realise. So it was right to be, it was right to be left, but I was just a little bit too overcautious, which resulted in that bogey finish. But uh, no, it's a decent knock. Happy with the way I played, happy with kind of the tips that I've implemented into my own game, so please there. But in terms of the stay itself, Cardrona has been a really good stop off in this last 48 hours. We've got a little bit more content that we're going to film um, in the next day or so, so keep your eyes peeled. And if you fancy a little golf breakaway in Scotland at Peebles, then you know where to come. Right, I'll see you tomorrow night.